Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to look, take a look at um, multiple zodiac signs in this reading that I was guided to do. Um, but before we do that, and before I let you know which zodiac signs those are, I would like to invite you to book a personal session with me. My website is www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link to the website below this video on my website you know you'll find all necessary information to answer any questions pertaining to my expected delivery time frame services prices offered um and just other helpful information that may answer any questions that you have as well as i have a faq section um if you have you know other questions that you may have that you might be able to start there first but if you don't see what you're looking for as far as the service or you have any other questions you can feel free to just fill out the um form um under book now so you can just go like you're going to book a service and then just enter your question into the comment section also i want to invite you all to follow my social media sites and you can find those listed below this video all right and yeah just take a look and Pay attention to the promos I have going on and make sure you take advantage of those, okay? So, I'm going to be doing a reading that I was led to do um, for Sagittarius, Zodiac signs, Virgo, Zodiac signs, Pisces, Zodiac signs, and Leo, Zodiac signs. So, initially off bat, what I realized about three of the four Zodiac signs is that Pisces, Virgo and Sagittarius are mutable. Leo is a fixed sign. So that's pretty interesting. But um yeah. That's initially what I'm picking up. I also energetically was receiving that some of you may be, you know, just feeling really good. You may be feeling um either getting some news that's going to make you feel like elated or you're just feeling more like heightened like energy okay now I also energetically was getting the message that some of you have either like cleared some type of um, imbalances with your root chakra so your 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 lower sh your lower chakra okay your root chakra um, or you have just taken some type of measures in your life that has naturally done this. So some of you intentionally have been working on this chakra or your chakras in general, maybe specifically that one. And then others of you, it's just some type of action that has occurred in your life that is naturally restoring the harmony and balance to this chakra. So whatever experiences you've been going through, it just feels like, you know, something has turned around in your life um, that has naturally restored the chakra okay which has positively impacted your life where this chakra focuses on so just definitely if you feel interested in that go look more into your root chakra okay besides that I was led to do two spreads for you so the first spread is going to be a past life spread and then the second spread is just going to be touching base on your current energies for the zodiac signs Virgo Pisces Sagittarius and Leo and then um, I'm having the energy of uh, Aries come through even though that's not one of the zodiac signs I was guided to do but Aries has presented itself so we're going to go ahead and include Aries in this reading okay so moving on with looking at your past life spread I feel there's an energy where it seems like there is some of you all who may have been a past life lover to someone you have your eyes on. So this could pertain to maybe someone who you're interested in now, okay, but I feel like the reason why you're interested or have a connection to this person is because in one of your past lives you were pursuing this person you had interest in this person I feel like you were a love interest of this individual 
Now, it feels like for some of you, I feel like each of you individually had a past life with this individual at one point in time. So each of you individually have been with this person in one of your lives. And then there was a lifetime as well, too, where all of you were pursuing the same individual. There is a blockage to you being able to access this individual because it kind of feels like in the lifetime where all of you were all together. As far as when I say all of you, I mean you and the other individuals who you're competing against. Okay, so you and, you know, the other zodiac signs that... I have listed to do you know that I've been listed to do this reading for you all did a lifetime together where you all were after this particular individual however I feel this person was royalty so it almost feels like this individual like father was very particular about who was to pursue his daughter okay and essentially there was like tests and trials and obstacles and hoops essentially that you all were having to go through to get to this individual so it's almost been a situation where it's like a competition may the best man win that is the individual who's going to get to win the get to win the hand of his daughter okay so that's what i'm, I'm picking up um just some energies that i'm picking up individually it feels like whoever is in the Virgo energy, your energy is not really here. So it's almost like you're not really here, Virgo. Like your energy is very low key. It's very silent. It's very not obvious. Okay. So it feels like maybe in the lifetime that you did with this particular individual, you were not very open and adamant and upfront about your sentiments for this individual you could have been someone who was more of a like admirer from a distance um it feels like you wanted serious commitment or there could have been serious commitment maybe you had to leave and upon returning there was some type of situation that prevented you from getting back to this individual. So this could have been a situation where maybe you had to leave for work. Maybe you had to leave for war. Um, but it feels like There was some type of hindrance to prevent you from getting back to this individual. Is what I'm seeing. Now for the Pisces energy. I feel like you were very upfront with this individual about how you felt. You're very um, loving. You're very um, demonstrative about how you felt. However... It feels like in the lifetime that you played out with whoever this individual is, you had a baby on this individual. So you stepped outside of the relationship, the connection, the marriage, whatever this was between the two of you in this past life. And I feel like there was infidelity that you would have had to be upfront and honest about to this individual. But I don't see you ever having that conversation with this person. So you may have just left this individual and never explained to this person why you left or why you broke up with them. You may have had a baby with someone and just never came back to this person. But it's like that person still stayed on your mind. So this is a situation where maybe you had to travel somewhere at a distance. Maybe you went to war as well too. Um, and it was like wherever you were at, <laughs> you know, as far as the, the, the new destination that you went to, you may have had a baby with a foreigner in a new region. And you never returned because of that. So you just kind of 
essentially back in that time whatever lifetime this was you just essentially ghosted this person you never came back and you never explained to this person that the reason why you weren't gonna continue with the connection was because you had a baby on them I felt it was almost like you were too embarrassed you were too embarrassed to confront the truth but it's like this person stayed on your mind this is like the one who got away but even though even though you ghosted this person in that particular time period or this lifetime that you, this past lifetime you still feel like this was the person who like held your heart it was almost like you had a mishap or a slip up but you could not go back and face this individual and let them know what you did so you just kind of never returned so it was a lot unsaid a lot unspoken and you just kind of carried on with your life and still carried all of this these feelings and these sentiments for this individual but it was it's like unresolved so you, you you never got to resolve this with this individual okay i think i'm starting to see the connection between all of these the fire sign energies here so the leo the aries the sagittarius energy i feel like you all were very um okay you all had your eye on this individual in the lifetimes that you did with this individual oh my goodness the fire signs were siblings you were brothers you were brothers so the aries leo and the sagittarius were all brothers you were all brothers okay and you met this individual while exploring so you could have been like in a in a lifetime period where there was exploration going on this person was foreign okay that's what i'm getting so this person who you had your eye on this person was foreign to you this person was from a different land and this intrigued you at the same time this is three brothers that have their eye set on one woman so this is almost kind of like y'all situation kind of give me like pocahontas type of like energy like you all were like you came to a new land to like explore and like traverse the land and you know to see what was out there as far as new resources and just things of that nature you know what i mean and you came upon this new region of land that you just you know that not that y'all discover but that was newly discovered by you that you had never been to before and saw a different type of like native type of people for whatever this 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 land this region is okay and i feel like this intrigued you but the thing i'm seeing is It's like three brothers, okay? Three brothers that fell in love with one woman, a foreigner. Interesting. Interesting. But I feel like of the three of you, All three of you liked this woman and was interested in it, in her. But I feel like whoever is the oldest is the one who really had it set out for her. This might be the one who actually engaged with her during this lifetime. However, the other two individuals had interest in her as well too. But I feel like out of respect for whoever the older brother is, you all didn't, you didn't cross those boundaries, I don't see. But I feel like that's, that's what was the hang up with you all. It was the cultural differences, the cultural background differences, that, that's what was the challenge because she couldn't come back with you all whoever 
her father was in this particular lifetime, he was not going to allow her to come back because she belonged to the land. Like, she could not leave her land. So she, she was very significant. There was something very significant with her not being able to leave the land. Wow. And I feel like y'all were already, like, married anyways. So some of y'all could, like, y'all could have been married anyways. And then you discover this new woman because she's foreign compared to anything you've ever seen before. But y'all were already, like spoken for like in commitments you get what I mean so that was an issue right then and there there was like different things preventing this connection from happening in this particular life period too because it's like well first of all it's three brothers that like the same female and then her father is not about to let her leave to come with you all and then y'all were married already. Interesting. But she was very beneficial to helping you all like learn about the land or, or whatever. Whatever you came to look for, she was able to be of assistance to helping you maybe just gather more respect for the land so maybe it was almost an instance kind of like Pocahontas or something like that like maybe you all were gonna go try to like get some type of resource but because you liked and loved this woman you decided to like keep it moving out of your respect for her. So she like changed your mind. She changed your heart about. Like the way that you used to do things. So like. Just coming on. You know to foreign territories. And just you know taking. Things. With no regard or no respect for the land. And things of that nature. Or land that was already inhabited, you know what I mean? And realizing that, you know, there are some things that, that should not be bothered when it comes to nature. And I think seeing the deep reverence that this individual had for, and her people had for their land, I feel like that really, like, left a different impact on you. It kind of, like, changed your outlook on how you saw life. And it kind of made you go back with a different perspective. So she gave you a new type of perspective in your life about something that you, you, you never even considered or thought about is what I'm seeing. So collectively, you all had a lifetime where you all were in the same lifetime. And we're trying to compete for her affection. And this was during some type of period of time where, you know, there were kings and queens or empire, em emperors or, you know, empires and things of that nature and rulers. And her father was very adamant about not just allowing his daughter to get with anyone. So he was putting you all through tests for you all to get to her. Is what I'm seeing. Interesting. Clearing the way. I'm not sure what happens. Because I kind of feel like. This is where this picks up in this lifetime. So. That's kind of interesting. Because I feel the blockages that you're experiencing in this lifetime whoever you got your eyes on this person has several other people who is interested in them as well too in this lifetime and i feel this is because this is similar situations that has played out in previous lifetimes each of you all have had like individual experiences in different lifetimes and lifetime periods with this person and then there was a period where you all collectively were in one 
in one um lifetime together and her father was just not having it so this maybe you all just never got to her because maybe you just never met the standards of her father because i'm just like it just kind of stops there and then i feel like this this energy is like in this lifetime now so if there's somebody who you have your eyes on like i said she got a whole bunch of people obviously that might be after her affection and want to be with her because this energy is still lingering of wanting to compete for her affections because they never got it in the past lifetime and still having those sentiments of each of those individual experiences that y'all all have had with her as well too so it's like in your spirits and your souls you may know this individual you may feel familiar with this individual you may have this like longing for this person but you may not have ever met this person in this lifetime and maybe for some of you you know at first maybe it was just a little interesting like why are you even attracted to this person and then maybe for some of you as well too maybe it's been like a challenge like you have been going through challenges to try to get through this person but i don't feel like you've ever had a connection with this person in this lifetime yet i think maybe the challenges that you're trying to overcome are like individual things and situations and experiences that once you like break through those barriers or i guess whoever is the first <laughs> to overcome whatever these obstacles are maybe the one who actually wins the affection of this individual so there's something still playing out from a previous lifetime where she is heavily safeguarded and protected because her father is not going to allow just anyone to marry her okay see because on the bottom of the deck for um the past life spread that i'm looking at we have the two worlds card so this is giving me like lingering energy something is still associated and connected very much to a past life which means this is a, a cycle that you all have been through with this individual before that could be why this feels very familiar or that could just be the association or the missing link that <laughs> that you all are going to figure out now like oh okay you have a past life connection with this individual okay and i feel like remnants of some of the experiences from the past life is it's continuing in this life it's like to be continued so it was like something was left that where it was and now in this lifetime it's to be continued oh my goodness <laughs> stop playing with me okay so i just just grabbed my um romance angels oracle cards just to clarify because i'm just like if this past life card come out i'm about to scream and it's on the bottom of the deck i shuffled and it's on the bottom of the deck y'all i'm telling you i knew it past life relationship you have known each other before yeah and then the actual card that actually came out is make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so i feel like you all are having an opportunity to have another attempt and to i guess write whatever unfinished symphony Ooh, that y'all didn't get to finish with this individual okay wow ah! oh my goodness <laughs> okay i just screamed at that because i just started to like you know just you know just skim through the the rest of the the oracle cards and i saw the reconciliation card okay i saw the unrequited card and love yourself first card so i feel like maybe some of you have had to go on a journey on a quest to wholeness or that's what you're supposed to be doing at least so you can get to a sense of having a true sense of self-love for yourself because maybe some of you okay this is deep some of y'all have insecurity issues that you don't know where they stem from because it comes from this past life because you never got to get with the individual who you wanted to be with right and I feel like that has carried over into this life. You you didn't get to be with the individual who you wanted to be with. 
and for the very reasons you know that I initially stated and I feel like you came into this life with those unconscious insecurities about yourself which has made you feel some type of way about love which could make you have any type of issues pertaining to just wanting to be non-committal you know wanting to be um a fear of being abandoned a fear of feeling not good enough you know what i'm saying like if, if you have someone's father making you jump through hoops and then you never get the woman you know what i'm saying like this this can bring up all types of different things that you all have experienced in this lifetime feeling and it's because of this past lifetime connection oh my goodness okay so yeah like the unrequited love and then it's like now you have an opportunity to <laughs> now you had an opportunity to reconcile and and get it right if not anything if even if you don't get her okay because i don't know i mean listen some of y'all might be with the <laughs> some of y'all might just you know do her the pleasure and the honor of letting her have five four or five husbands you know what i'm saying some of y'all might be with that right that's what's up but i feel like for others of y'all regardless who or whoever doesn't get with the woman in this lifetime or if none of y'all do the basis of it is for you to like practice self-love and realize that you are worthy of love you are enough and that you know you can overcome whatever these insecurities are you know what i'm saying by loving yourself okay so let's go ahead and get into this life all right let's let's look at the messages that are going to come through for you all that was exciting oh my goodness all right y'all so i got four cards that came up okay interesting enough it was four cards that came out in the past life spread <sighs> okay so we got the prince of pentacles that came up in reverse the king of cups in reverse the hierophant in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck we got the world card so something has come full circle from a previous life so, oh my freaking goodness the card on the overlying energy guess what it is it's the six of cups do you know what the six of cups mean past life soulmate energy i'm sorry i'm <laughs> I'm too hype over here. This is hilarious. No, li literally though. But um, I look at the, I when I get the six of cups for me, that's past life energy. It could just represent you know past memories, good memories, good times. Um, when you were younger, when you were youth. Um, you know, fond memories or experiences pertaining to you growing up or people you grew up with, things of that nature. But for me, I always like to think of it. I think of it like it's past life, especially the deck that I'm using. Um, yeah, it gives very much past life looking type of energy. So, and it's, yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. So you definitely have, oh my goodness. And then what's peeking through? The judgment card. So some of you, <laughs> some of you are going to be re-met with certain feelings and things of that nature. Maybe coming up soon sentiments because i feel like you're you're being you're being called to address these things within you so you could have someone who is bringing these sentiments up within you maybe you're afraid of approaching this individual maybe you're afraid of moving to the next step with some type of relationship or connection maybe for some of you you have your eyes on an individual who there's a lot of other people who is competing for this person but i feel like this is all coming up because you are supposed to address these issues so yeah you might experience some feelings of feeling um unsure or feeling a little bit hesitant or feeling a little bit afraid but i feel like it's because you're supposed to be able to address these issues and realize um that you can't overcome that you know what i'm saying like 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 only you would be getting in your way and you don't have to allow yourself to get in 
get in the way of true love you know what i'm saying i feel like if you truly want or are interested in someone that you should you know take the steps toward this individual and don't allow like your insecurities to overpower you to the point where you miss out in this lifetime of someone who it's, it feels like essentially meant so much to you because you you have unfinished business with this individual you know what i'm saying um for some of you that may be why you feel so like inspired to like go after this person and pursue this person you know um because it's just that strong connection that you have with this individual yeah so i feel like um all of these energies are being presented again for you to you know just assess 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 your feelings assess how you feel about commitment like are you ready for commitment do you feel like you're ready and mature enough to settle down you know do the actions that your life display align with how you feel in your heart or how you speak or how you think i feel like this is a time for you to really like reflect and get very clear okay because and and release what what needs to be released before you're able to move forward is what i'm getting so things could be on pause right now or delayed because it's giving you the opportunity to just reassess is this something that you really want to pursue are you serious you know there's this energy, like I said, something is resuming. Something is being continued where it left off. So nothing has changed about the fact that you still have to come correct at, to this person. You, you still have to come correct to this person. Like this person is like, you, you just can't come and not have done any type of work on yourself. You know what I mean? essentially showing that you've matured that you've learned the lesson i feel like that's really what it's about like have you learned the lesson from those previous lifetimes like if you're married you you need not be married coming towards someone you get what i'm saying if you have a child you need to let this person know that you you know stepped outside of the relationship and had a child okay if you I don't know what what was the other energy that I picked up oh and then the the other energy was like if you have feelings for someone then you know you need to learn how to express those feelings because you don't have to be the mushiest person in the world but it does feel good to hear someone say that that they care about you or that they love you or that you make them feel a type of way that nobody else can do for them you know what i'm saying and there's different ways that you can get around it as well too like you can get very creative you know use your imagination you know some of you are being called to use your imagination think outside the box you know there's ways to work around some of the like fears or the insecurities or or things that you feel limited about there's, there's ways to work around that you know what i'm saying like you got to be creative you got to be able to think outside of of the box and let go a little bit of like certain types of inhibitions or feeling like you know well what is everyone else gonna think if i do this like it doesn't matter what other people think i feel like you're being called to be like truthful and honest to yourself you're, you're being called to you know do what what you feel in your heart you, you're needing to listen more to your heart is what i'm getting because you're having another opportunity to be able to come around to this individual now the interesting thing that i'm also kind of picking up slightly for some of you the situation may apply not only do some of you have past life connections with this individual but some of you also have had opportunities i'm hearing countless opportunities so more than one you've had more than one opportunity to, to like present yourself and step forward to this individual but you haven't taken the initiative to do so so it's like you've been holding back even though you know that you have some type of feelings or sentiments or interests 
um, in this person is what I'm getting okay oh my goodness <laughs> Y'all probably, what is wrong with her? No, I'm just so happy because this reading is like, I literally was like, what do these signs got in common? Like, what does this have anything to do? Like, sometimes I just be like, what do, like, why, why do I have to give this message? Like, what is this about? Like, <laughs> but this message is interesting. Okay, so I pulled a few more cards off the top of the deck. And we got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So someone here is a true match. Or maybe all of y'all are true matches because. <laughs> because you all have had past lives with this person. So it's almost like, okay, she got her, like, I know y'all feel this type of way, but if all y'all end up coming towards this woman at one time, she will have her work cut out for her because she got a connection to all of y'all. Like, that's what y'all have to understand. I think, <laughs> I think y'all need to understand this. Like, I need to help y'all know that this is not going to be easy, okay? So the same way some of y'all feel like you might get let down or rejected. I just would like y'all to just put yourself in someone else's shoe right now. This person has, what, four of y'all, five of y'all? I don't know. I can't even remember. Hold on. It's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo. And she got four to five of y'all coming towards her that she has had some type of connection with in a previous past life. So she already has chemistry, like a natural chemistry that she's going to have with each of y'all on some type of level. It's not going to be the same way, okay, for each of y'all, but she already got some type of natural chemistry or attraction to y'all. If y'all all come towards this woman... Y'all gotta imagine how that feels to be put on that type of, like, like, it's like put in a predicament to, like, have to pick when she might have feelings for all of y'all in different manners, <laughs> in different ways. Maybe some of y'all, <laughs> I swear, maybe some of y'all might end up, like, doing, like, polygamy. Like, she might just get off y'all y'all might all just be with it because y'all might <laughs> y'all might be like um y'all all want her and she want all of y'all and it might be something that worked for y'all because another thing that i'm seeing here is the higher fit is in reverse this means it's a non-traditional type of connection that is possible here and some of y'all feelings might be hurt to the point where y'all just be like, F it. Like, we will all just, like, cooperate <laughs> and live as one. Like, for real. Oh, my goodness. It might be just too much to bear for y'all to just be like, not get her in this lifetime. To the point where y'all might just work it out and be able to just coexist as, like, one or like knowing the f that she gonna have relationships with all of y'all so whatever y'all want to call that whether y'all all living in one roof with with one another or whether y'all just know that y'all she, she you know y'all belong to her or she, she belongs to y'all i don't know what i mean <laughs> oh my goodness but I'm just saying, this, I'm, this is what I'm seeing here. This is, it's kind of funny, but it's kind of interesting because it's like, this is someone's situation, okay? And all of y'all is coming up as the king of wands. And that might be something that y'all just like, uh-uh. Nah. Oh Lord. This is interesting. Let me see. Now on a lighter note, maybe it's just a situation where prior to her actually settling down, maybe this is just a discovery phase where she's going to just date all of y'all 
or get to know all of y'all, whatever you want to call it, you know, hang out with all of y'all, get to know all of y'all, and then she'll choose. You, you get what I'm saying? So, in some instances, that might be what it is. It's like, you know, she might just be getting to know all of you and seeing who she has a better connection with. But it's interesting because, once again, we have the forgiving and learning card come up. And it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So this goes back to that, like, past life energy. I genuinely just feel like for a lot of you, it's like you there, there's some sense of you needing to, like, heal from situations that previously transpired between you and this individual that maybe didn't go the distance in the past lives that you may have wanted you know where there was unfinished like connect uh connections and things of that nature now for some of you as well too this could just be maybe a sense of you all coming in this lifetime and finally getting some closure you know what i'm saying so now you can finally move on you can heal you can get the forgiveness that you need maybe like you whatever insecurities that you you've been dealing with maybe when you come into contact with this individual, it'll help you in some sense of being able to like relieve yourself of whatever burdens you have been carrying, right? Because it seems like some of you have been carrying some like unresolved pain or guilt and things of that nature. And maybe you may come in contact with her and, you know, it'll be like a healing element to finally just get some type of closure in your life in regards to whatever you've been holding on or carrying and dealing with. Okay. This is very interesting. But then again, like I said, for for maybe for others of you, this is going to be a situation where you all are just going to work some type of like agreement out and y'all all are just going to like date this this person. Like she going to have five men. It's going to be five of y'all one woman. <laughs> well, however that floats y'all boat you know what I'm saying Ooh, yes look keep an open mind <laughs> keep an open mind oh wow yeah oh my goodness and this is so interesting because I don't know if y'all remember my post that I put like I put a post on my Instagram account like when was this maybe in November oh yes it was in November because I was like I'm so honored to be able to give this message during Sagittarius season so it was soon as oh my freaking goodness oh my goodness okay so it was it was soon as we went into Sagittarius season and um this is so oh my goodness it was soon as we went into Sagittarius season and that channel message came through of there's a divine feminine that is about to change the game and the message that came through because i don't know how many of you all saw it was essentially this divine feminine was about to get five husbands because you all <laughs> have been on some bs and not like take an initiative um to come towards this individual like you have kept this individual waiting for or, like a really long time it's almost like you y'all all went out there you sold your work royal oats you know you got to live the life that you wanted to live you know what i'm saying and she's been over here being dedicated to the journey and doing the work that she needed to do to heal and things of that nature and some of y'all was out here just like not doing that and so it was like she was about to she was about her judgment was essentially that she she gonna get five men and i i believe that's i believe it was five men so this this is that situation is what I feel like. This is that energy coming up again. And that was interesting because I'm trying to figure out like, yeah, the, yeah, 
This feels very much like that situation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh shit. I'm sorry. But it's almost like... Listen. Yeah. This kind of that's this this kind of what that feel like. This kind of feel like this that situation from Sagittarius season when I got that message that she's about to get five men. <laughs> and for others of you, it was a situation. I think I said. I think I said somebody's either about to get five men. Well, essentially, it was like because y'all were taking too long or. Who, for whoever this applies to the the divine masculine who did not step up or the divine masculines that were not stepping up taking initiative it's almost like there were several individuals that this individual had to pick from but it's like all of them have been just taking their leisure sweet time doing whatever they want to do thinking it's sweet so it was like okay well she's about to get somebody else and then there was also an instance where it was like, well, for some of them, they call a judgment. They won't. They about to get the divine masculine, and she's about to get like four or five husbands or something like that. So, yeah, this is what that feels like. So this is this is <laughs> this might be y'all story. I don't know how many people this. <laughs> I don't know how many people this is going to resonate with, but listen, Lysium, some divine feminine, either a divine feminine or some divine feminines are about to get five men and it's all because they did what they were supposed to do. Let me see. <sighs> well <laughs> I'm, I apologize I just don't even know what else to say like I can't I think I'm done with the reading like I don't know this is hilarious to me I'm not trying to be disrespectful it's just hilarious to me because I just think it's interesting that this message is coming up again like it like I literally forgot about that message. I'm just going to be honest. Like, it was funny. It was interesting when it came through. It was shocking. It was hilarious. It was, I felt appropriate for Sagittarius season. Because everybody always be trying to proclaim that Sagittarius are non-committal and whatnot. So I just thought it was interesting that that, <laughs> that, that came up in um, the Sagittarius season. And now, look at timing. Uh, interesting. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the reading, y'all. I don't want to keep laughing at y'all or at this situation. Because it's not like, ha-ha, funny. Um, but it's still kind of like, interesting. It's just interesting funny. Because it's just like, wow. Like, somebody really is about to, like, have five men. And this is all because y'all, y'all wanted to take y'all sweet old time. And, uh... Yeah. So, I guess to conclude the reading, um, whoever is her divine masculine, uh, he ain't got no choice. Like, if the judgment has been that your divine feminine is going to get four or five men, then she gonna get four or five men. And, um... I mean, there's really nothing that you can say or do about that. It just is what it is because it is what it is. But that don't necessarily mean that y'all going to get to be one of the five either, I guess. It could be five other people, you know, who's about to be brought into her life. But either way, hopefully there was something in the message that you were able to take away and either laugh at or use to your advantage to make your life a little bit better if you would like to book a personal session with me you can go to my website 
DivineLotusTarot.com. Be blessed, y'all.